Layers of the Solar System Have you ever been fascinated by the mysteries of our solar system? From the fiery inferno of the sun to the icy outer reaches of the Oort cloud, there's so much to explore and discover. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be exploring the different layers of the solar system. At the center of it all is the sun, a massive star that provides light and heat for the entire solar system. The inner planets, including Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury, are relatively small and rocky, and they orbit close to the sun. Between the inner planets and the outer gas giants lies the asteroid belt, a region filled with small, rocky bodies left over from the formation of the solar system. Beyond the asteroid belt are the gas giants, massive planets made up mostly of hydrogen and helium. At the very edge of the solar system is the Oort cloud, a vast region of icy bodies that may serve as the source of comets that pass through the inner solar system. Each of these layers holds fascinating secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Let's start with an introduction. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and marveled at the breathtaking sight of the Milky Way? This stunning galaxy, which we are lucky enough to call home, is a true wonder of the universe. But the Milky Way is more than just a beautiful sight, it's a complex and dynamic system full of secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. At the center of the galaxy lies a massive black hole, whose powerful gravitational pull keeps all the stars in the Milky Way in line, as they orbit around it in a cosmic ballet. Our solar system is just a small part of this grand scheme, but it's no less impressive. From our own sun, which makes up a staggering 98% of all the material in the solar system, to the various planets, moons, comets, asteroids, and other celestial bodies that orbit around it, there's always something new to discover. But it's not just the size of an object that determines its importance in the solar system, it's also its mass. The larger an object is, the more gravity it has, and this is certainly true of our sun. Its massive size gives it a gravitational pull that's strong enough to keep all the other objects in the solar system orbiting around it. Besides, the solar system is a vast and fascinating place, comprising the sun and everything that orbits around it. It is made up of different layers, each with its own unique features and characteristics. Now we know that the sun is the star at the center of the solar system and is the largest object in the solar system. Let's learn more about the layers one by one. The inner planets, also known as the terrestrial planets, are the four planets closest to the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are called terrestrial planets because they have solid surfaces and are similar in size and composition to the Earth. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and is also the planet closest to the Sun. It is made up of rock and metal and has a surface temperature that ranges from about minus 180 degrees Celsius, minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit, at night to over 430 degrees Celsius, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, during the day. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often referred to as the Earth's sister planet because it is similar in size and composition. However, Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere made up of carbon dioxide and nitrogen, which traps heat and makes it the hottest planet in the solar system. The surface temperature on Venus can reach up to 460 degrees Celsius, 860 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and is the only known planet to support life. It has a diverse range of environments, including oceans, deserts, mountains, and forests, and is home to millions of different species of plants and animals. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is known for its reddish appearance, which is caused by iron oxide rust on its surface. It is also the site of many past and ongoing missions by NASA and other space agencies. Mars has a thin atmosphere made up of carbon dioxide and a surface temperature. That ranges from about minus 125 degrees Celsius, minus 193 degrees Fahrenheit, at the poles to about 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, near the equator. The Asteroid Belt The asteroid belt is a fascinating region of our solar system located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It is made up of an array of small, rocky objects known as asteroids, which range in size from a few meters to several hundred kilometers in diameter. These asteroids are thought to be remnants of a planet that never formed due to the gravitational influence of Jupiter. But what exactly is the asteroid belt and why is it so important? Well, for starters, it is believed to be the remnants of the early solar system and holds important clues about its formation and evolution. The asteroids in the belt are made up of a variety of materials, including rock, metal, and water ice, and are thought to be the building blocks of planets. 
In addition to providing insight into the early history of our solar system, the asteroid belt is also home to several important celestial bodies. Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt, was the first asteroid to be discovered and is now classified as a dwarf planet. Vesta, another significant asteroid in the belt, is believed to have a rocky mantle and iron core, much like Earth. Despite its scientific importance, the asteroid belt is often depicted in popular culture as a dangerous obstacle for spacecraft to navigate. However, in reality, the asteroids in the belt are widely spaced and the probability of a collision with a spacecraft is quite low. The asteroid belt is a fascinating region of our solar system that continues to be a subject of study and intrigue for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Its study helps us to better understand the early history of our solar system and the processes that shaped it. The Gas Giants' Outer Planets The gas giants are a group of four planets located beyond the asteroid belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are called gas giants because they are made up mostly of hydrogen and helium and do not have solid surfaces. They are also known as outer planets. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and is known for its Great Red Spot, a giant storm that has been raging for hundreds of years. It is also home to over 60 moons, including Europa, which is thought to have a subsurface ocean that could potentially support life. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system and is known for its stunning rings, which are made up of ice and rock particles. It is also home to over 60 moons, including Titan, which has a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and is considered one of the most Earth-like places in the solar system. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is known for its tilted axis, which causes it to have seasons that last for over 20 years. It is also home to over 27 moons, including Miranda, which has a complex surface with strange features such as cliffs, terraces, and canyons. Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun and is known for its intense winds and active weather patterns. It is also home to over 14 moons, including Triton, which has a surface made up of ice and is thought to have a subsurface ocean. The Oort Cloud the Oort Cloud is an enigmatic region of our solar system located in the outer reaches beyond the gas giants. It is named after Dutch astronomer Jan Oort, who first proposed its existence in 1950. This vast cloud of small, icy objects such as comets, as well as dust and other debris, is thought to be home to billions of celestial bodies. But what exactly is the Oort Cloud and why is it so important? Well, for starters, it is believed to be a remnant of the early solar system and holds important clues about its formation and evolution. Scientists believe that the Oort cloud is the source of many comets that we see in our solar system, including the famous Halley's Comet. Not much is known about the Oort cloud because it is so far away and difficult to observe. It is estimated to be located between 5,000 and 100,000 astronomical units AU, from the Sun, which is about 500 to 10,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Despite its distance and lack of direct observation, scientists have been able to make some inferences about the Oort cloud based on the behavior of comets that originate from it. These comets follow highly elliptical orbits that take them on long, looping journeys through the solar system before returning back to the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a fascinating and mysterious region of our solar system that continues to be a subject of study and intrigue for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Its study helps us to better understand the early history of our solar system and the processes that shaped it. So the next time you look up at the Milky Way, remember that you're not just gazing at a pretty picture, you're looking at the amazing, interconnected world that we call home. Well, that's all for today. Each of these layers of the solar system has its own unique characteristics and holds important clues about the early history and evolution of our solar system. If you enjoyed learning about the different layers of the solar system, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more interesting content.